Hey guys, so this is the 13th class. Uh, it was supposed to be uh, shared with you like two weeks ago, but I had connection problems at that time. So I'm recording it now and you're seeing it sometime after. So what's the purpose of this class? Uh, we're gonna differentiate two verbs, allow and let. They are two verbs that have similar meanings, but uh, the way you use them is completely different, okay? So, as always, general knowledge for us here. <laughs> uh, what is the general knowledge about allow and let? As I said, they have similar meanings, uh, given permission, that's the meaning of them. However, they are not used in the same way. Allow is used in a passive voice. So we're gonna head into that in just some, some minutes. Uh, and allow is a lot more formal than let. So depending on the situation, uh, using allow or let uh, will happen you will use it differently you know <laughs> so uh this is the like the the written form in the phonetic alphabet of allow uh i just put it there for curiosity like it won't change much <laughs> so uh here it is the, pa the passive voice it shows interest in the object that experiences the actions instead of the object that performs the actions so you're gonna head into passive voice ju just briefly. So, so uh, the passive voice shows interest in the object that experiences the actions instead of the object that performs the actions. Uh, let's uh, give an example here with an apple. I eat an apple. I am the one performing and uh, the the apple is experiencing the uh, the action of being eaten. So how do I uh, express that uh, that meaning of an apple uh, experiencing an, an action? I use the passive voice. So instead of saying I eat an apple, I say the apple is eating. So I'm focusing on the experience that the object uh, suffered. Okay. Uh, it's just a brief. Uh, now we'll have some <laughs> some drawings here. I made them myself. You see how much of a Da Vinci I am. Just look at this. Amazing. Uh, imagine that you are in a formal meeting, and uh, you want you to be polite. And some people say, "Hey, allow me to introduce myself." Uh, so you're asking permission to introduce yourself uh, however you wouldn't use let in that way because it is a formal situation right so allow is more formal as I said so if you, you just said hey let me introduce myself it wouldn't be as formal as saying allow me to introduce myself uh, now we'll have another example here uh, of the the state of something being allowed or not. So you, you can see here uh, an officer that was, that's Mona Lisa. Yeah, that's Mona Lisa. You know, the Vinci here. And you can see that, and you can't take photos with flashes. That's uh, the, the, like mandatory in there. So the officer sees someone, uh, taking pictures with flash and he says hey no flash allowed no flash allowed that means that well it is prohibited uh, one could say for example uh, let's head for let here uh, it is a bit less formal than allow we don't really use let in the passive follow another drawing uh, what could one say? 
you are not let to take pictures with flash here. Uh, like, think for some some seconds. Could someone say that? Like, I already crossed it with red so that you know it isn't correct. And I will explain it. Why isn't it correct? Uh, so, uh, the state of being allowed to do something uh, is actually about uh, the person. So, the person has a state of not being allowed. That's the same thing as the apple having a state of being eaten. So, you can see both are passive voices. Uh, so, for passive voices, when you have that state for uh, the subject, so the, su the subject is focused on the experience that uh, uh, it is passing through. In the, app in the case of the apple, it is being eaten. In the case of that person that, well, is taking a picture with flash, uh, is not being allowed. So, not ha having permission. You can see being allowed is correct for the passive voice. Here we have a passive voice. It, would, it wouldn't be correct to use let. So the correct way of saying it would be you are not allowed to take pictures with flash here. Uh, saying you are not let to take pictures with flash here wouldn't be correct at all. Uh, let's give another example here. So now we'll change uh, the situation. First we had a formal situation, uh, then we had about permission, uh, so what is permitted or not, and now we have a, more, a less formal situation, a less formal situation. Uh, a random child there <laughs> and uh, his father or his uncle or his grandpa or like anyone, any child and any familiar that is uh, older than him or her. So that person is playing soccer that has been played for the whole afternoon and then hey let me stay a bit longer please because uh, the other person just came and said no let's go home. You can see that it, it isn't that it isn't a formal situation uh, and what is being said here? Uh, permission, it is about permission, right? The permission of staying there and playing a bit longer and it is formal. So it is not formal, sorry. <laughs> it is not formal at all uh, because, well, that's family uh, and, you're, and you're asking. So it is an informal situation, not a formal one. And because you are talking to your family, uh, it would be the same thing for your parents, your, your parents, it's your family, for your friends or people that you already know. So keep in mind that let is for informal situations, allow is for formal situations, allow has uh, the need for the passive voice, let doesn't that much, and Keep in mind that because you will be using that in your everyday uh, and just to like we, we have summarized what we've seen here that, that difference between let and allow uh, but we'll have some exercises sorry in the Google Classroom uh, those are important for you to fixate and to apply the concepts that we've learned here so those who are in Google Classroom, don't forget to do it. Uh, it will be posted soon enough. And that's our short class for today. Like 10 minutes, I guess. Uh, more than 10 minutes, more? No, less than 10 minutes, I, I guess. J it's just a tip, uh, basically that. So I hope you stay up well. I hope you are well right now. Uh, that's it, bye-bye. Don't forget to do your exercises in Google Classroom.